Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho. Welcome. Welcome to the beginning, the start of something truly amazing and wonderful and magnificent. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see into the future, but I think this is going to be really awesome, guys. I'm very excited for this series. We have finally begun the modded series that I've been talking about for so long. Everything is together. Put the pack together myself. And hopefully everything is cool and good. <laughs> it's untested. I am the test dummy here, so we'll see how it goes. Might have to change some things as we go. But uh, yeah, today, guys, what I want to do mostly is just kind of get settled in. I want to tell you guys uh, about what we're going to be doing and, and my plans and maybe try to get some resources together today, like uh, an ore doubling setup of some sort maybe <laughs> some food we'll see how it goes but first let's get the questions out of the way shall we i'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be asking me what mods i'm using so let's just get right to the list here make it nice and clear for you so you can see uh there is about a hundred in in total it's quite a bit and these are subject to change as well like if i ever feel like adding something or removing something or changing something i will do that if it's possible um but as it is right now i think i got a pretty solid list here i'm really happy with it there might be a few things missing that you might expect and there's probably a reason for it if it's not there because i have uh, i've considered a lot of mods that i haven't added as well um the other big question though you are probably going to wonder is Am I releasing this mod pack to the public, to you guys, for you to enjoy as well? And no. <laughs> well, not currently. I, Like I said, I haven't tested it at all, so I'm going to be the dummy here first off. If everything works out good and, and I can get the permission from all the mod makers, I will definitely like to release this to you, though, in, in some time after I've tested it, of course. But yeah, there is one thing about this mod pack I am particularly excited about, <laughs> and you can see it right before your eyes right at this moment. The terrain generation is crazy. <laughs> I have... Uh, it's it's Biomes of Plenty. I really like Biomes of Plenty. I think it's a great mod. Adds a lot of variety. Uh, one of the things I w was concerned about with, though, with it, though, is normally the terrain generation very flat, very plain. Uh, I created lots of test worlds. You can see I'm on number 59 here. <laughs> Looking at terrain generation and it was pretty much all flat. There was nothing nothing that really stood out and that's just the way Biomes of Plenty is. So what I ended up doing was editing the the mod itself to, to create more crazy terrain generation. I actually edited the class files so that I can't release if I ever do release uh, this to the public because I don't think that's allowed. If I edit a mod, I can't release it or distribute it to you guys, unfortunately. So it's all to myself. <laughs> Enjoy it with your eyes, but you can't get your hands on it. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to it here, shall we? Uh, there's still lots of like flat areas too, and this isn't even the half of it. You should see some of the, the crazy stuff. When we get a jetpack, we'll fly around and you will see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's just try to get our food kind of situated. Oh, you hear that? Is it from the beehive here? Must be. Got growth craft in here. They're still buzzing, though. Oh, and it stopped. Okay. <laughs> Got growth craft, um, dude. What is that noise? Oh man, I don't know what's going on. There's also mo creatures, and I think that's what we just heard, <laughs> which I'm still getting used to. So lots of variety with mobs. Um, let's see. Got Pam's harvest crops which is pretty significant when we're starting out here. Let's see. Oh, here's a cool trick I learned, by the way. If you go to... Let's see. I think if we get rid of all the 
facades. Can I right click? Yeah, there we go. Then it removes it from the list, I think. Um, what else could we re remove? There's one more. Got the build craft facades. We'll get rid of those. Forge micro blocks. There it is. Let's get rid of that too. So now it brings our page number down to 164. And it's pretty much just items we'd want to actually look at. So yeah, we got uh, Pam's Harvest Crops and the Spice of Life in the pack. And those make it so that I have to have like a variety of food items. I can't just eat the same thing all the time. And I think that'll be cool. It makes it so food is actually a thing in the game. <laughs> like you got to try to get um, a variety of stuff. You can't just have like a cow farm and you're set for life type of thing which I think will be cool. And I can eat a certain type of food, I think about eight times, and then after that, I can't eat it at all, so I have to have something else. And it's not until I have like 250 different food items that I can eat this, the, the first one again. So here, let's, let's try that out actually. Some, have some strawberries. Uh-huh. And eaten once out of the last 250 foods. So after I eat 250 foods, I can eat strawberries from fresh again. <laughs> Which might seem like a lot. We'll see. There's so many different food items, though. I think it'll be okay. Let's grab some apples. Whoops. Oh, man. We are getting ready for our first night here. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, come on. Stop doing that. I guess I need an empty hand. Oh, it's not even ready. It looks ready. Is this one ready? No. Okay. Um, what to do? What to do? I think I'll just go around and maybe collect a little bit more food and set up some farms. I don't know if you can eat these wild carrots. I think they do something strange to you. Oh, boy. Okay, here comes the mobs. Wasted so much time with my intro, I never even got my tools. <laughs> Oh, snap. I, I think that's still... Oh, that's an ogre. What am I doing? Okay, I gotta stay away from that guy. I gotta find some stone. It's passing through. Nope. Oh, he blew up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Uh... Dude, this got real very quickly. <laughs> go, 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 go. Is he chasing me? No, he stopped. Oh, is he, he fights the other mobs. That's a werewolf over there. All right, I got to eat some of this food or I'm going to die. Um, okay, here's some stone in the cliff here. I can get, I can get my tools going here. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> Is that the mighty skeleton I see on the map? I hope not. Oh, oh, spider. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna dig down. Oh! Ooh, that was close. I want to kill whatever that is making that sound right now. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Oh, we got some iron. What? What kind of... I think it's a bird, but what kind of crazy bird is that? Alright, here goes. I'm going to leave the, the pit here. Oh, is it daytime now? Yes, it's daytime. I'm going to kill that bird. <laughs> Where is he? Where are you, birdie? I want vengeance. Take that. Is he in the tree? It's that guy. Oh, man, it's a nice looking bird, too. I don't care, though. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. There we go. We got him. All right, guys, so I think we're going to set up around here to start off with. I really like this area. I think it looks cool. So going to get a couple crops going here. 
again we want lots of variety so we got like six or seven different types of crops to start off with all right and I think the first thing we're gonna make normally I would make a tinker smeltery but I was looking at this and I'm gonna try the the merry culture is that how you say it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to make one of these a crucible furnace it doubles your ores and this is kind of the recipe for it so we we need a lot of copper and clay and stuff I think and coal so let me get to that I really want to try find some bamboo too that's what I want to build out of first uh, to begin with here so my plan as far as building goes uh, we're not going to build like one big main base. Instead, what we're going to do is set up lots of little uh, kind of like towns. And this is where we're going to build the first one. This is going to be like a fishing village type of thing. If you ever played Final Fantasy X, there was one village in that game. I think it was called Tilika or something. I kind of want to make something like that where the, the city is up above the water on on like bamboo stilts and and stuff and docks all over the place I think that would look cool but uh, gotta find some bamboo <laughs> which I don't know if I can um, but yeah we're gonna have lots of little villages or, or cities or whatever and we're gonna connect them together with railcraft everything's gonna be connected together with railcraft and very important is we have the custom NPC mod and everything I build I'm going to try bring to life you know I want to have actual villagers in the the village so we'll have custom NPCs that walk around and do stuff hopefully but uh, yeah we'll get more into that once we start building so there's a cave right by <laughs> where we set up but there's a bear in it. He seems friendly. Hey, guy. Hi. Uh, it's a black bear. Black bears aren't... They're not like grizzly bears, you see. I can't believe he's not killing me. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Just take it easy. I'm not here to steal your fish. I just want the oars. Yeah, he seems pretty friendly. I'm guessing if he's standing up, I don't want to go close to him, though. He will maul my face. Oh. What was that? I thought we were bros. Hey. Oh no, <laughs> you threatened me, you made me do it. I didn't want to. He was actually surprisingly weak. I thought uh, thought I was in trouble there. Oh man. <laughs> so I got to the deadly caves or deadly, I forget what the mod's called, but it adds all kinds of spawners and like traps when you're caving. Um, to make things a little bit more interesting. I had Glenn's gases installed originally too with the explosion power like super boosted <laughs> and that was really cool because the two mods kinda combined you got like these explosive traps all over the place and then it blows up the gas and causes all kinds of chain reactions but unfortunately Glenn's gases seem to slow down terrain generation a lot so I decided remove it but it was really cool I don't want to do it but it's either you or me all right <laughs> so hungry I need food oh man look at that so much food from one piece here let's try make this thing here the bee box it, it looks really cheap yeah, and we got those bees from earlier, so we might be able to get more honey from it or something. Although I haven't figured out how to eat the honey yet. <laughs> um, 
Let's just try it out. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. No, I didn't put any bees in it. Why are there bees, bees buzzing around? Alright, now I'll put the bees in. And I think they'll make honey cones. Oh, not quite. I guess we gotta put in these empty honeycombs and then the bees fill them up with honey and then we get these ones and we take these and we make honey. <laughs> like that. Alright. Um, so what we're gonna do, I think we'll go take a look around maybe. Uh, I got the stuff together to make a couple of these mariculture tanks that we need. Oh, where are we? Yeah, these over here. So it takes planks, copper, and some glass. Like so. Let's make two, I guess. I think we need three total to make the crucible. Oh, it gives you two each. Okay, cool. Oh, and they hold 16 buckets worth. That's quite a bit, actually. Now, are these... Let's see how these work. Can we... Put liquid in like that, yeah. And now if we break it, does it keep the contents or does it lose it? Oh, it keeps it. That is really cool. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> We're going to go on a lava run. we got to get some lava. Um, and we'll fill up the tanks. But also I want to try find some, some bamboo. Let's see if we can find it. So let's see. Is there an open channel somewhere? I think we can go around this way. Oh, there's a fish in the water. All right. Yeah, so this is this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. <laughs> we have lots of lots of variety with the mods. There's like adventuring mods, we have Galactic Graph, we have Mistcraft, we have Twilight Forest. Um there's lots of like high-tech um programming type of mods like we have open computers we got computer craft there's a couple other cool ones I can't wait to show you and even with custom NPCs you can do scripting and stuff so we'll be able to do some really fancy stuff with that and there's building mods and there's breeding mods like we we have bees we have trees we have <laughs> uh, fish and all kinds of stuff oh no it's raining Let's see. I'm I'm trying to keep an eye out for lava on the map. It looks like there might be some up that way. Uh, but I'm also looking out for the bamboo. It sort of spawns randomly. I don't know if it prefers certain biomes or not. Man, I love this location. <laughs> Look at this. Looks so good. Uh, giant mountain over there. I don't know what biome that is. It's got snow on it, though. And I'm tempted to kind of climb this mountain and just see if we can get a, a good view from up there. But I don't know if I have enough food, really. I, we should probably head down and go on a boat again. Because all this climbing is, is wasting my food and I don't have much left. Can we hop down here? Whoa. Uh, oh, leafy garden. I'm also really looking for these things, too, because they, they give us different seeds and food, which I desperately need. All right. Yeah, let's let's hop on down. We'll make another boat. Let's go check this out. The water is pretty deep here. don't think it's ocean, though. No, it's, it says river. All right. So what biome is this? It's got these fancy trees. Lush Swamp. I see. Um, oh, you know what we could do? <laughs> I'm like trying to think of all these ideas of how we can get food. Uh, it'll get easier as we play longer. But starting out, the food's pretty rough. But uh, we can, I believe, get grapes from these. Possibly. I know we can from vines. I don't know if these count as vines. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's happening. No, I think we gotta find real vines. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 what, what is that thing? Oh, I'm so dead. Ah! <laughs> oh. Darn it. I just found bamboo too, by the way. <laughs> I was waiting for the rain to clear to show you. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to get back. Nice thing about all this water is I can get around pretty easy. Even though there's like mountains all over the place, I can pretty much just take the water the whole way. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get back in time. What is that? Is that a coconut? Oh, it is a coconut. <laughs> can I eat it plain or do I need to... Uh Oh, I got gravestones. I didn't know gravestones was uh, a thing. No kidding. I didn't add the gravestone mod. <laughs> Wonder what mod actually does that then. Well, I got my stuff back. Woohoo! That was a little surprising, actually. I didn't expect I would drop a grave. Alright. Um, got all of my stuff. Yep, looks good. Can I eat the coconuts? Yep. No hammer required. Alright, so... The bamboo... Now that the rain is gone and it's it's light... <laughs> is right over there. Uh, we kind of need bone meal, though, I think, to, to get a bamboo shoot off of it. But we'll take a look. Maybe... I think it also spawns over time. But uh, these create one of the coolest building blocks I've seen. One of my favorite textures, anyway. So, let's head on up. Um, and then we'll probably head back. I'm not seeing any lava pools around. Yeah, okay. I got my axe? Yeah. So, what you do, you chop down the bottom. Aha! <laughs> I don't think you get the bamboo shoot, though, from the leaves. It only comes from it spawning at the base, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there is one here. Awesome. So we'll take that, and we should be able to grow it wherever we want, then. Is there any more? I would like to have a whole forest of this stuff. Oh, we got another one here. Cool. Oh, this is going to get bad. It says the blood moon is rising. I need a bed as soon as possible here. Um, our bees have made a second honeycomb. I, I guess, but they haven't filled it with honey. Lazy bees. I've seen that. I saw this when I was testing a little bit. Like the sky turns red. I don't know what happens with the mobs though. So far, it looks pretty normal. Maybe a little bit more red than normal. Um. Watch out for that pit. Ah, it's not too, too bad. Here, let's get some torches going. So it might get really dark. Um, but yeah, we got the bamboo. Oh, that started pretty fast. Did you come from the cave or are you part of the blood moon? Oh, it's part of the blood moon. Okay, I might have to hang out in the water this night. Because you see how quick the mobs are spawning? Yeah, okay. And the sky is turning crazy red. <laughs> it's like I got shaders on or something. So weird. Well, it's finally day. I spent the whole night in the ocean here. Made the right choice, though. There are so many mobs. I would have died for sure. If I didn't hide. <laughs> so, let's see if we can make our way back. These people here, these are the werewolves. They turn they turn into humans during the day. And I think they're harmless then. There might be some skeletons around still. Hello. You're hurting me. Stop it. <laughs> oh wow. You're hurting me. Stop it. <laughs> Not quite what I expected them to say. Why aren't these bees making actual honey? They keep making empty combs. Um, our crops are kind of ready here. Yeah, we got to get a bamboo forest going, though, because we're going to be building a lot with bamboo. I think it's going to be one of our main building blocks. So, 
Let's get to that. We can also eat bamboo. It turns out. Bamboo shoots. Uh, maybe up over here would be good. So I think I can use bone meal on this stuff to, to speed it up, right? Let's get rid of the grass around it. Yeah, there we go. And if I if I right click on the base with it, it also makes a shoot. So I'm going to do that so we get a bunch of these and we can start our forest a lot quicker. Well, the bamboo forest has begun here. This is what we get from it, by the way. I, I'd never showed you. <laughs> it makes these cool planks. I really like this texture. Check it out. Uh, this is what we're going to use for the, the docks and stuff for our town. So we'll need a lot of it. Aha! Check it out. <laughs> we have found a lava pool, finally. I looked all over the place. There's not really many of them, it turns out. So this is a very valuable resource. We need this to make the crucible thing for doubling our ores. Um, oh no, is it nighttime again? Man, it was just nighttime. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but ever since that blood moon, I've been getting a bit of lag. It has me a bit worried. I might have to disable that or something if that is the cause, but I'll have to investigate. Um, but anyway, I think we'll probably end the episode here, and we'll continue getting set up and whatever next time. We'll probably start building stuff. Um, whoa! <laughs> careful, careful. I'm amazed this chicken hasn't died yet. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. What? <laughs> I've never heard a deer sound like that before. That's crazy. Um, I figured out the leg issue, by the way. It's all good now. There was uh, another instance of Minecraft running in the background on my computer somehow. And it must have got corrupted or something. I was using like half my processor, so that would do it. <laughs> got it shut down now. Everything seems fine, so we're good.